Sri Lanka defaults on its debt for the first time, and it might be six months before it can start making payments again. And let's pick up on that Sri Lanka headline. India has emerged as one of the country's biggest creditors, despite historic suspicions between the neighbours. Let's explore that relationship with our correspondent Ishan Gurg. Well, Ishan, India likely to extend a credit line to Sri Lanka for essentials. Uh, any details on what it entails? What, uh, it's unclear at this point how big of a credit line it's going to be, but what is clear at this moment is that it's essentially going to be for medicines. Reports suggest that the Sri Lankan government has reached out to several Indian drug manufacturers uh, to say that they need uh, essential shipments of nearly 273 different kinds of medicines. And these include your absolute essentials uh, like antibiotics, the medicines uh, for cardiac problems, the medicines for diabetes. So it is likely that Indian government will extend a credit line for, uh, to the Sri Lankan government for purchase of these essential medicines. And it must be remembered that India already has provided a credit line of about $3 billion, which includes uh, currency swaps as well. Uh, so it is looking increasingly likely that India is looking to help Sri Lanka uh, uh, in, the, in the area of essential goods as well. The Sri Lankan government had earlier said that when it was running out of fuel, when only one day of fuel was left in Sri Lanka, in, uh, it was in touch with, uh, uh, with the Indian government for supplies of for supplies that were required at that point of time. But it is unlikely that this credit line is likely to bring a big solution to Sri Lanka's economic woes because it still has a massive amount of debt that's outstanding. But in the short time, while people in the country are really looking for essential items, medicines particularly, this upcoming credit line may be of some help to them. It may be decided in the next couple of days when this shipment will reach Sri Lanka, but reports suggest that it may be likely that uh, it, there will be at least two consignments that will reach Sri Lanka within a week. Well, Ishan, it's no secret that India and China have vied for favourable relations with Sri Lanka, given its strategic location in the Indian Ocean. Uh, is the move by India to, you know, to become one of the biggest providers of aid to Sri Lanka to win its trust? Absolutely. I mean, influence in Sri Lanka has always been a tug of war between India and China. Both the countries look at Sri Lanka as uh, as a place which is of strategic importance, especially considering the trade routes that both the countries need for their connections uh, across the world. So Sri Lanka has become somewhat of uh, a contested item between contested country, contested ally uh, between India and uh, China. But right now, India is looking to position itself as more of an ally, one uh, that is not really looking to get anything back. It is hoping to play on uh, the assumptions, the idea and the perception that China has allegedly trapped Sri Lanka in a debt circle. And India is looking to provide assistance to Sri Lanka as a friend who is looking to get uh, the country out of that debt circle. But it remains to be seen what the perception of India's uh, friendship, the extension of friendship is in Sri Lanka. There appears to be a split opinion in the country with some people saying that there is a deep political agenda behind India's help, while other people saying that as long as India is providing for essential items and is providing for uh, a, a line of credit, uh, th it, that is certainly good news uh, for Sri Lanka. And analysts in the country here in uh, Delhi say that there is an agenda for Prime Minister Modi as well, because uh, Sri Lanka houses a substantial population of Indian Tamils. Uh, and by uh, helping uh, Sri Lanka, uh, Prime Minister Modi may be looking to up his support in the Tamil Nadu region uh, of India as well. So there's seems to be a lot in it uh, for India and some in it uh, for Sri Lanka as well. Uh, but uh, as uh, the relationship goes forward, it will certainly be uh, a competitive one between India and China. Oh, many thanks for that. Ishanga there in New Delhi.